The dachshund, also known as the sausage dog, due to its long body and short legs, is an affectionate, curious, and independent breed. Originating in Germany, this breed was developed to hunt badgers and other small game. Dachshunds are known for their intelligence, bravery, and stubbornness. But when it comes to choosing a dachshund as a pet, you may wonder if there are noticeable differences between males and females. While each dog is unique, certain traits tend to be more common in males or females. Here are 10 key differences between male and female dachshunds. Number one, size and physical build. Male dachshunds are often larger than females, but the difference is not significant. Male dachshunds stand an average of eight to nine inches at the shoulder, while females are slightly smaller at seven to eight inches. Males also weigh slightly more, ranging from 16 to 32 pounds for regular dachshunds, while females from 16 to 28 pounds. Their bone structure is stronger, and they may have a more muscular build than their female counterparts. Number two, temperament and personality. Both male and female dachshunds share a similar level of intelligence and curiosity, but their temperaments often diverge. Male dachshunds are known to be more playful and goofy. They can have a more laid back personality and are often described as clowns in the dachshund world. They tend to bond strongly with their human companions and crave attention. Females, on the other hand, are often more independent and reserved. They are generally more serious and can exhibit stronger problem-solving skills. Female dachshunds may not seek constant attention as much as males do, and they can be more focused and stubborn when compared to the playful nature of males. Number three, training and obedience. Training a dachshund can be challenging due to their stubborn nature, but females are often seen as easier to train than males. Female dachshunds tend to mature faster and are more focused during training sessions. They are less likely to be distracted by play or outside stimuli, which makes them quicker learners in many cases. Males, while just as intelligent, often retain their puppy-like behavior longer which can make training more challenging. They may be more easily distracted and take longer to grasp basic commands or housebreaking. Their playful nature sometimes takes precedence over obedience, especially in their younger years. Number four, energy levels. While both male and female dachshunds have a moderate energy level, males are typically more energetic. They enjoy running, playing, and are often more enthusiastic about physical activities. Male dachshunds may require more exercise and playtime to burn off their energy. Females are generally calmer and may not require as much physical activity as their male counterparts. They tend to be more content with moderate exercise and may prefer lounging around after a short walk or play session. Of course, individual personalities vary, but this is a common distinction between the two genders. Number five, health and lifespan. Both male and female dachshunds are predisposed to similar health concerns, including intervertebral disc disease, dental disorders, and obesity. Females who are not spayed have additional reproductive health hazards, including pyometra, a potentially fatal uterine infection, and breast cancers. Spaying can help to mitigate or eliminate these hazards. Males do not have these specific reproductive health concerns, but they are more likely to develop prostate problems if not neutered. In general, male and female dachshunds have similar lifespans, ranging from 12 to 16 years. Number six, affection and bonding. Males are more loving and can create strong bonds with a single individual. They are more prone to follow you around and request cuddles. Male dachshunds typically enjoy attention from all family members and are nicknamed Velcro dogs due to their desire to stay close to their owners. Female dachshunds can also be affectionate, but they are more picky about how and when they express it. They may have strong bonds with one or two family members while also maintaining some independence. Females may appreciate their alone time more than males and be less dependent on continual attention. Number seven maturity rate. 
Female dachshunds mature faster than males, both physically and emotionally. They tend to grow out of their puppy phase sooner and often become more settled at an earlier age. This means that female dachshunds might be easier to manage during their adolescent phase compared to males, who can retain their puppy-like behavior well into their second year. Males take longer to mature and often stay playful and mischievous for a longer period. This can be fun for families looking for an energetic, lively dog, but it may also be frustrating for owners looking for a more calm and obedient pet early on. Number eight, aggression and dominance. Female dachshunds may be more dominant than males, particularly in multi-pet families. They may establish themselves as the alpha and be more pushy around other pets. Females may also show protective behavior toward their home or family. Male dachshunds are typically more laid back and less prone to exhibit domineering traits. However, if not properly socialized, they can become aggressive towards other males, especially throughout adolescence. Neutering can help lessen these tendencies and make males more temperate. Number nine, marking and territorial behavior. Male dachshunds are far more likely to engage in marking activity than females. Unneutered males frequently mark their territory, both indoors and outside. This is especially obvious during adolescence and can become a recurring tendency if not handled promptly. Neutering can considerably minimize marking behavior, but it may not eradicate it entirely. Females are less prone to engage in marking activity, but it is not uncommon, particularly if they feel territorial. Spaying females can also help reduce undesired territorial behavior. Number 10, reproductive behavior. Unspayed female dachshunds go into heat roughly twice a year, which can cause behavioral changes such as being more clinging, restless, or moody. Managing a female in heat can be difficult since she may attract unwelcome attention from male dogs and need special care at this time. Males do not go into heat, but they may become hooked on females who are in season. This might result in behavioral changes like increased marking, restlessness, or even efforts to flee in pursuit of a partner. Neutering males can assist to lessen these tendencies. The bottom line is that ultimately, whether you choose a male or female dachshund depends on your lifestyle, preferences, and the individual dog's personality. While males tend to be more playful, affectionate, and energetic, females are often more independent, focused, and mature faster. Both genders make loyal and loving companions, but understanding these differences can help you make an informed decision when choosing your dachshund. Knowing about certain things you should never do to your dog is also important as a dachshund owner. That's why in the video on screen, we talk about five things you must never do to your dachshund. Click to watch if you're interested in finding out what they are. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.